Hey, how's it going everybody? Uh, just thought I'd do a little update on my motor van. I put a video out about a year and a half, two years ago, when I just finished it. And I've edited things on since then, a fair amount of things. Uh, so I'll just make a new video for people who haven't seen the first one. So this is a 2005 Chevy Express 3500 10-foot uh, box van. So it started out life as a U-Haul van, which made me a little nervous at first because I know how I treat U-Haul vans when I rent them, but I kind of had a unique situation where the the uh, guy who was selling this fleet of vans, he actually used this one as his personal one. Uh, he would rent it from himself. He had a U-Haul company and he also had a party supply company. So uh, it seemed to be incredibly well taken care of. And um, the last five years have proven that it in fact was. I've not had any trouble. Um, it's been, been excellent. Um, everybody asks me what that is on the roof. That's an air deflector. Uh, you get it out of a company in Canada. I'm going to have to look up. I can't remember exactly who it is, but uh, it's it probably does help with turbulent wind, but mainly it's up there to uh, my air conditioning unit, the, the radio on it. Um, uh, it is uh, the graphics there are done by my buddy Joseph Nagel. He's a fellow motocross racer. He uh, They build motocross engines, they race cars, they build race car engines, uh, and he does body wraps as well. Actually, when I had when I had reached out to him about this, because I know he, they've always made graphics, and I asked him if he did body wraps. When I called him, he was actually in school to a well week a week long class to learn how to do body wraps. So um, he did a really good job. Um, a little picture of me up there, kind of, uh, yeah, it's kind of not too in your face, and um, I like the color. It's, it, it works out well. So. Uh, what I wanted was like a class B toy hauler. I didn't want a, a dual rear wheel box van. I wanted the smallest possible box van as I could get and still be able to sleep in it, still haul two bikes, and um, not have to move anything around. I, you know, I, I, no, nobody makes a van like that, so I figured we're going to have to build one. Um, so the ramp door was the biggest modification. I'm not much of a welder. Uh, so I went to uh, Larry Flora down at American Metal Fabricators. They're in Richmond, Virginia, uh, just south of the James River off 95. If you are from Richmond and you used to race uh, drag race cars illegally back in the 90s, you know of Bells Road. So that's where they are. Um, there's a picture of it with, uh, I got some motion activated LED lights. Um, they're solar powered. They work really, really well. They can actually either stay on all night uh, at a low low voltage or uh, you can set them for motion detection and they can be very big. so there's the ramp door it's quite heavy um, I do have a coil assist spring but it's the one that came with the uh, roll-up door that was originally on it those you all vans uh, which was much lighter so this door is much heavier so you definitely gotta you gotta put a little bit of a little bit of muscle into it and get it up and down but it's all right it's a good workout a heavier duty spring on there but I'll worry about that later. Those are the jacks. Uh, I did put those jacks on there. Um, I did the plywood and, and, and things like that, but they, they built the frame for me. Um, so uh, there's my 15 amp inlet. So I did wire the whole inside of the, of the box with 120 volt outlets. Um, I hope I did everything up the code. I'm, I'm not an electrician either. So, um, but uh, I do know how to do some wiring, I guess. So, so we got it right. That right there that I'm touching is the um the inlet for a uh, a gas line like coming off of a propane tank so i run a heater buddy in the dead of winter and um and i put a pound propane tank outside and run the line through there and it it works amazing that has a very well insulated box i did insulation behind the walls the floor the ceiling behind the ramp door so uh, that's not a problem at all uh keeping warm or staying so uh i did the hardwood floor just kind of that click and play flooring um, that's something I've added since the last video. It's uh, proven to held up pretty well because um, I don't think it's easy on that thing when I'm at the track for the weekend. Here's a goggle shelf, Kim shelf. Um, I got that from Clear One Industries, I believe. I got it from Summit Racing Magazine. Uh, that is Liquid Performance Top Coat Finishing Spray. Those guys are um, they're a big company. They're at local out of Virginia. Uh, so they, they do a lot for us at the racetrack. They, they donate a lot. Um, um, yeah, that's where I keep my five gallon, 110 octane leaded fuel right next to a 15 amp inlet. Brilliant, brilliant. Um, over here is uh, another little cubby. Keep my race boots, you know, uh, pads and knee pads and whatnot, jerseys. 
I uh, got a fold out picnic table there. Got a 12 by 12 pop up canopy. Keep my helmets up there. Um, right there, that is my that's my ex girlfriend's. Uh, that's how she gets around. That, that's her vehicle. I don't know. I don't know what she's doing now, but I use it to it's to sweep out the box. Yeah. Probably need. Um, I, I keep that uh, little battery tender plugged in to the battery bank. So when I am plugged into chore power or when I'm running my little 2000 watt inverter. Uh, generator um i'm topping off the batteries so i also have solar on the roof uh there's a red rider daisy bb gun because man we got some coyotes at the places i race because we uh out here in virginia man in north carolina we kind of race out in the boonies and when i get there the night before man it's like i track coyote bb gun they stay away there is um old coffee maker cubby and uh, first and foremost, I am not a carpenter. Everything in here uh, that I made, I, I was shooting from the hip. I would pretty much just stand where I needed to be standing when I wanted something, or I'd put the bike into the van and see how much room I had or whatever. And I would just mark mark places with a pen and see, and then cut a piece of wood. And <laughs> it all came together. Uh, there's my hidden sink. I just put that in um, fairly recently, a couple months ago. So everybody, like, where's your spigot? Where's your spigot? Aha! It's hidden. And there it is. So a little hidden uh, wand in there, so I can do my dishes, uh, brush teeth, whatever. Um, that all runs off of a 12 volt um, RV pump. I'll uh, show that a little bit later. So I can tuck that back away, put my uh, lid back down, and it goes right back to being a work workbench. So I can beat on things and whatever I got to do. Um, here is uh, my little refrigerator. I just I just did this last night. I've now got some uh, drawer slides and built myself a little for, um, for the refrigerator. Now I built that uh, that workbench long, like a year before I ever thought about putting a fridge in there, and it turns out it ex it's exactly wide enough for <laughs> fridge uh, for that particular fridge. So okay, there's no room to spare. Uh, it's a it is a compressor style refrigerator. It runs off 12 volt or 120 volt. Uh, so it will go down well, well below freezing. You're down to negative four degrees Fahrenheit, I believe. And it room to keep enough meats and uh, things in there to last me for at least four nights. Four day uh, camping trip, motocross camping trip recently. That. So uh, the bikes fit in. Two bikes will fit in completely in without being on an angle and have about one or two inches of spare behind the rear wheel uh, because I had to notch these walls. The notch there, but that also works as a wheel chalk. And. Um, and uh into the bedroom but here is a wheel chalk if i need to put my big bike my klr or my street bike um i do have to that does have to dip into the bedroom um and there it is so you can see once i have that bad boy in there there's, there's nothing else getting in that thing's a, a behemoth weighs 500 pounds rolls up the door and the door doesn't flex um so yeah they work pretty well shagging one cooter's garage i don't know how those panties got there i'm gonna have to get back to you on that one so night at the track there's a 35 gallon water tank um i'll show you how the plumbing uh, is a little bit later with that and uh here's the bedroom uh so when it's not in bedroom form when i'm traveling i usually have it like this because i can walk all the way through and everything but when i get ready for bed i'll show you how it kind of converts into it uh there's a 12 volt uh cigarette lighter style outlet as well as a couple usb ports um all that comes directly off the battery bank well it comes through this control panel here uh which all comes directly off the battery bank um so uh that's i got everything switches up the lights the water pump tv uh, that's all the master switches uh of course the ac unit you see here the coffee maker uh and the refrigerator they all run off uh, 120 volt uh the refrigerator can run off 12 volt if it wants to so that's a 10,000 BTU standard window unit, um, around 100 bucks at Lowe's, something like that. Um, and it's it's more than adequate for what we got going here. Actually, even with the rear door open on a hot day, I can angle the AC unit to kind of stay in the bedroom, and it actually just keeps that area free. So there's some uh, little green accent lighting, some um, Kawasaki green lighting there. Um, Here's how the bed works. Yeah, so I just flip that over. It's a trifold mattress. Pop that over. Throw some sheets on it. Man, look at the shine on that head. Boy, I think my Mohawk days are over. Yep. That didn't happen until I was 40.
So, um, yeah, it works good. Bed, the bed is perfect. With, from this angle, and for some reason, when people see it, they, they think it's not long enough. Bed. I'm, uh, I'm six foot one, so 73 inches. And the actual, from wall to wall, is about 78 inches. So it's plenty of room. It works out perfect. And it's 39 inches wide. That's a standard twin size bed. This is a twin long. So it's uh, 39 inches wide, 78 inches long. And it again, it's like this box was made exactly for <laughs> that bed. It's incredible. Any wider, literally an inch or two wider, and I wouldn't be able to get the bikes in without putting them on an angle. So we are using every inch of this 10 foot box. Um, I'm about hanging a curtain up uh, between the bedroom and the outside. That way I could certainly keep even more AC in there, but I really don't need to. Uh, so here's how the plumbing works. Um, it's a big uh, three quarter inch line comes off the 35 gallon tank, just gravity fed down to the back. So I have a, a spigot that um, just like a regular spigot coming out of your house. Um, and that's what I'll hook up my pressure washer to, um, or if I just need to get water throughout the day, whatever. Um, so that's just gravity fed, and that's also how I fill the, the tank as well. I just back feed it that way. Um, for the sink and for the shower, I have two half inch lines uh, coming off a, uh, the pump. The pump is here, 12 volt pump. Uh, so that is those half inch lines post pump, obviously. And it's always, when the pump is on, uh, it's always pressurized. When you open up a valve and it releases water pressure, the pump kicks on and it pumps like like four or five gallons a minute it does really really well i mean certainly all your needs for being at a track um the water is it can be heated i do have a drop-in water heater um, but uh in the summertime i don't want that and um the winter i, I can't get it warm but uh, all the water is going to be one temperature so there's my shower i usually just kind of stand out there in my skivvies and uh you know, put on a show for the Moto Moms. I, I've been putting a tip jar out and I've noticed there has not been any tip jar donations. So I don't know, maybe I need to do a few more sit-ups. So anyway, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, just uh, drop me a uh, drop me a line in the comments and I'll uh, I'll let you know where I got the things I have in there. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed your own Moto Vans. Best of luck.